long will these nightmares stop? Really, I don't know what to do anymore. Because every night, in my sleep, I am tormented by evil spirits. But seriously, what is wrong with my life? Everywhere I go, people hate me for no reason. Financially, I'm broke, and it seems like I was a sieve. Everything I earn never stays in my hands. Despite the multiple finance courses I had received, even the men I meet on a daily basis don't want to commit to me. Because as soon as I start talking to them about marriage, almost all of them tell me that they don't want to marry me. Oh Lord, in what world am I? I am so anxious and stressed when I think about everything that is happening to me. I find no rest in my days. And even at night, when I fall asleep it's the same. Oh Lord Jesus, come and help me, because I really can no longer take this situation I am going through. Haven't you noticed that when Elisa is not there, everything goes well in the company? Yes, I had noticed that. She will come back and bring us more bad luck in this business. It's true, you are right. I'll see what I can do when she comes back from her vacation. All right. Really, I just finished my vacation. I'm going to go back to work again. If my boss could give me a salary increase, that would make me very happy. That way, I won't have any financial problems anymore. It's hard to recover. I wouldn't like to see my colleagues again. Because they don't like me at all despite the efforts, I make to be on good terms with them. I hope one day they will love me. Hello colleague. Hi. Did you have a good vacation? Oh. Yes. It was good. Good. I will go and greet the other colleagues. Okay that works. My dear colleague, you do not yet know what awaits you. When you weren't there. We held a meeting on your behalf. Soon you won't be part of this company anymore. I'm really sorry for you, because you don't belong here. Good. I will go to work. I don't know what's happening today. However, I find my colleagues a bit suspicious. But hey, I have to concentrate on my work. Oh! The boss is calling me. I'll go see him in his office. Yes. You can come in. Here I am boss. I wanted to congratulate you for all the work you have done within our company. Thanks boss. Moreover. I would like to announce that we have decided to delete your position. Unfortunately we will no longer need you in the company. This is what I had to tell you. You can go. I can't believe I was just fired. But what exactly is happening to me? I feel like the world is collapsing on my head. I definitely need to tell someone about what's happening to me. Otherwise, my brain might explode. Because I no longer understand what is happening in my life. I feel sick. Who do I see there? Oh. This is the sister in Christ, Elisa. But why is she talking to herself? Hi sister. Hi brother. I didn't even recognize you. Ah good. And yes sister. Besides, what's happening to you? Oh. Brother. I have so many problems in my life. Ah good. And yes brother. Tell me everything then. This is a bit of what's happening to me at the moment. I really need prayer brother Paul. You know Elisa, if all these things happen to you it's because you two have opened doors to the enemy. Oh yes? What do you mean, brother Paul? Oh. Yes, my sister Elisa. You must now learn to close these doors in your life so that the enemy can no longer play with your body at night. You know. Sister, I do not doubt your sincerity and your faith in Jesus Christ. But nevertheless, I would just like to draw your attention to a lot of things that could perhaps touch your ego. But honestly, it's definitely worth it. Okay, Paul. You know, sister, just changing the color of your hair can attract trouble from the spiritual world. Because God knows why he created you with natural hair of a certain color. Frankly, let's not try to correct God at all costs. We must truly learn to value and love all that the Lord has freely given us. Oh thank you very much brother. Your message touches me greatly. You're welcome sister. 
Let's just give all the glory to God. I would also like to draw your attention to the practice of masturbation and watching adult films. You know these sins are the root of many problems in our lives. This is why when you're attacked by the spirits of night husband and night wife, if you had these open doors in your life, close them and you will already see that you will sleep much better at night. And regarding accessories, junk, jewelry and sexy clothing, sister, we are Christians and we are called to be the light of the world. It is up to us to bring the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ through the way we dress and behave. Without lying to you, sister, let's not try to reason when the Bible tells us to do something. Let's just develop that obedient child's heart and put God's word into practice. Okay bro, you are totally right. Many times my mind convinces me and tells me not to do certain things. But despite this, I often tend to resist and not obey this word. Because I told myself that I certainly wouldn't be the only one to do this in this world. Frankly, today I realize all the doors that I could have left open to the enemy. You surprise me, sister. What remains for you now is to ask God for forgiveness for all those sins you had committed in the past. Indeed, never forget to ask God to help you close all these doors that gave access to the enemy to destroy you. Pray this prayer, with firm faith and without doubt, and you will see it fulfilled throughout your life. In any case, thank you very much Brother Paul, I will put all your advice into practice. Hallelujah, and God be praised for that. Amen. Mom I assure you, since I gave up these sins, my life has been completely restored. The hardest part was masturbation. I cried so much before God, and I asked God so much to deliver me from this sin. Because I couldn't give up on my own. But God heard my supplications and my prayers and granted me deliverance. Today, I feel so free and beautiful now. I don't even need to wear my old junk anymore, before I felt so beautiful. My heart is so full of joy, because the Lord has lifted all my burdens from me. I am so fulfilled to truly become a new creature. No more nightmares at night, and I now spend my days under the mighty hand of the Lord with joy. Truly may the Lord be magnified and glorified for this. Hallelujah my daughter, thank you for this great testimony that you have just given me. May your name, Lord, be magnified and glorified forever and ever. Amen. Amen. It's been more than a month since I found any customers when I opened my store. All my customers leave, bought in the shop next door. But, what exactly is happening? I am overwhelmed by this situation I am going through. Okay, I'm going to go home because it's getting late. I absolutely need to find a solution to this problem. Oh. What a day. I am very tired. Okay, I'm going to go back, because it's getting late. My husband will be home soon. Ah, I think he's there. Welcome, darling. Thank you, my wife. And how did your day go? Not really. I'll go take a good shower, and then we'll talk quietly, if you want. All right. I really don't know what's going on with my wife anymore. For several months, it has given off a bad smell. Really a smell, which is not at all pleasant to breathe. Despite all the Grand Prix perfumes she applies, the smell still continues to persist. But what am I going to do now to help my wife get rid of this smell? I hope she won't take it badly. The best thing is to talk about it with her this evening, at the table. Once we have finished eating quietly. So, did you like the meal? Yes. On the other hand, I would like to chat with you. Okay, I'm coming. But what else does he have to say to me? What else did I do wrong? So. What did you have to tell me? I would like to know if you had continued to use the perfumes I had bought from you in the meantime? Yes, of course. Why are you asking me this question? It's because I noticed that there was no change in you. It wouldn't even seem like you were using these perfumes. 
I no longer understand what is happening. Because I even apply lemon to my body before going to take a shower. However, we wouldn't even say it. We must at all costs find a solution to this problem. Okay, honey. Perfect. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Good. I am going to sleep. I'll go to bed too, because I'm sleepy. Yet another day, dawning on the horizon. But why does my husband never stay on our marital bed until early in the morning? Well, I'll go see him to clear things up with him. What am I still doing here? But, I didn't go to bed in the living room yesterday. What is dislodging me? I always come from my bedroom at night. Oh, I still feel very tired. It seems like I haven't slept a wink all night. I really feel like I got married to a ghost. I'm really starting to be afraid of my own wife. How are you? No, it is not okay. What do you have? Why do you never end your nights? Next to me? I can't explain it to you, woman. Because I too, I absolutely don't understand how I find myself in the living room, in the early morning. Please don't get angry with me. Because it's really not my fault if I disappear from our marital bed at night. Ah good. Oh yeah. I'm as surprised as you are by what's happening. We need to find a solution to this situation too. Otherwise, the best thing is to separate. Because when I was single, such things never happened to me. Don't worry darling. I will find a solution as soon as possible. Okay, otherwise enough is enough. I've slept on the couch enough as it is. Okay, I'm going to work. Alright. When we move here, my neighbor told me she was Christian. So, I would like to go see her and explain this problem to her. Plus, what I like about her is that she's so discreet and very nice. I really feel that she must be a real Christian. Maybe with her, I will end up finding a solution. Because I really don't want to lose my husband. I really want to get back to a normal life. Hello neighbor. Hi. Please. Give me a few minutes. Because I have something extremely important to tell you. Alright. I'm listening to you. I'd like us to go sit somewhere. Okay. Like I told you, this is what's happening at home. Wow. I'm really shocked by what you just told me. I know a brother in Christ who can help you. Please show me where this brother lives. Like that? Me and my husband are going to see it. Alright. Firstly, I will go see brother Paul, to announce your arrival. Okay that works. There you go. Darling, this brother in Christ will be able to help us get out of this nightmare. Let's go see him then. Brother Paul, my neighbor and her husband will come to see you. Okay, Sister Lisa. Here's a bit what's going on between me and my wife. You know what? I love my wife and I don't want to leave her. Tell me a little about your family. Do you have brothers? Yes. I have five brothers. Are they also married? They were married. Now they are divorced. I don't understand why they are all divorced. If I understand. In your family, men don't marry. It's exactly that. Do your parents worship God? No. In our family, all male children are destined to replace their parents in the convents. I think you were married off to night spirits in your family. Yes, Brother Paul. I didn't want to say the word. However, you had been married to spirits of night women. This is the reason why there are so many divorces in your family. I am going to tell you one more thing. Since our marriage, every time I sleep with my wife, I felt enormous pain in my lower abdomen. Something I had never admitted to my wife. I even went to see a doctor. But he didn't find anything sick in me. I think you had already been married spiritually, to spirits of women of the night. This is why you do not have peace in your home. What should I do then? First, you had to accept the Lord Jesus into your life. To no longer be a slave of these spirits. 2 Corinthians, chapter 5, 
verse 17 tells us that if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. It is also written in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 20. For you have been bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which belong to God. Today I agree to give my life to Christ and abandon all the idols of my family. Glory to God. Your wife too should receive Christ in her life. For her. Okay. I will give you biblical verses on which you will base your prayers to God. Okay brother Paul. Thank you very much for your support. And welcome to the kingdom of God. Thanks. My wife. It is not by our strength that we can fight as spirits. But it is by the power of Christ in us. We must be resolute in our new walk with Christ and forsake all things of the world. Starting with our heart, we must begin by obeying God. From today on, the Lord Jesus Christ will take the first place in our hearts. Because from now on, He is our Master. I agree with you darling. I accept the Lord Jesus Christ as my Lord and my personal Savior. Perfect. Now I'm going to pray. Lord Jesus Christ, I give you infinite glory for your immense love and for tapping into our lives. Forgive us our sins, and may your precious blood which flowed on the cross of Golgotha may cleanse us. We have the faith, which you already have in us, redeemed by the price of your precious blood, which flowed for us. Today we no longer belong to these spirits, who once tormented us. Because you are now the master of our lives. This is why we declare that these spirits no longer have any power over us. Above all, we take the shield of faith with which we extinguish all the fiery darts of the evil one. We dedicate our lives to you. We are determined to be with you. From today on, our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who lives within us. O oh God, we glorify you in our body and in our spirit which now belongs to you. Be glorified and exalted forever and ever. Amen. So did you sleep well last night? Of course. Since we gave our lives to Christ, and broke all the chains of spouse night spirits, I no longer find myself on the couch in the living room in the middle of the night. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I also noticed that the smell that was on you had disappeared. Ah good. I didn't even notice that I no longer had any smell on me. And anyway, the smell you were talking about, it was only you who smelled it. Because I felt absolutely nothing. Today I understand that everything that happened to us in the past was spiritual and came from these spirits of husband and woman of the night who tormented us. However, let us give glory to the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth who has powerfully delivered us from the hound of the enemy. I would also like to tell you that today all my clients have returned and I no longer worry about anything. I will serve the Lord with all my heart, with all my soul and with all my strength. Amen my wife. May all glory be to God forever and ever. Amen. My soul, bless the Lord. May all that is in me bless his holy name. My soul, bless the Lord, and forget none of his benefits. It is you who forgive all our iniquities, who heal all our diseases. It is you who delivers our life from falsehood, who crowns us with goodness and mercy. It is you who satisfy our old age with goodness, who will make us young like the eagle. Lord, you do justice, you grant justice to all the oppressed. You showed your ways to Moses, your works to the children of Israel. O Lord, you are merciful and compassionate, slow to anger, and abounding in loving kindness. Thank you very much for freeing me from these spirits that once tormented me. Thanks to you today, I found the peace that no longer existed in my home. Because of your grace, I fall asleep today like a baby, who sleeps in his mother's arms. Thank you for always being there for me. Thank you for listening to me, and watching over me like a father. Remain, blessed, today and forever, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. O oh Lord, help us not to fall into the traps of the evil one. Increase our faith, so that we can resist temptation and sin. Never allow the enemy to have access to our lives. And it is in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Amen.
dear brothers and sisters in Christ, never give the enemy access to enter your lives. For the enemy only comes to steal, kill, and destroy. O oh Lord, help us to be your will even more. Because our only ultimate goal is to please you more. Please, Lord, never allow the enemy to have access to our lives. May our lives be hidden under your wings, and under your mighty hand of protection. Give us, Lord, an outpouring heart, so that we may be more sensitive to your word. It is in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that I prayed. Amen. Don't forget to like it, comment on it, and share it with those around you, so that just one soul can be saved and restored. And please, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. May God bless you and protect you. How long will these nightmares stop? Really, I don't know 